I'm here with Braden from Fruno. We're here doing the Two Conks Fishing Camp. Today we're gonna to be going over the Fruno Marine Electronics. We're gonna be focusing on that radar, finding these birds, showing how it's done. So just stand by because you're gonna see something epic. Tell me about the birds, how are you picking them up right there? All right, so the way we have our radar set up right now is we're running the radar in bird mode. And the way we do that is you swipe up and you can select bird mode, either calm, moderate, or rough. We're running on moderate right now. And we also have trails turned on. What trails turned on is gonna do for us is it's gonna leave a blue mark wherever the radar has picked up an object. So what does that do for us? So it's gonna easily let us identify what is a boat and what is birds. So if you see a strong mark here with a nice linear trail behind it, that's definitely gonna be our boats. But if we see all these little blue dots that have a red or an orange dot popping up in between them, those are gonna be your bird marks. And the reason we want the trails on is because birds are flying up and down. They're moving up and down in the air and we're not always gonna get the birds on every sweep but we're gonna leave a trail every sweep we saw a bird. So what we're looking for is those dots to pop up inside those trails. And right now we've got birds all over this screen. We've got birds over here on the left. We've got birds right in front of us, birds out to the right, birds out here at about you know two and a half miles. But since we've got so many down here in the Florida Keys, we're running this thing on two miles and usually we're running it offset a little bit so that we're looking at two mile range, but I'm also looking at about three or four miles up here in front of me as well. So I can definitely get a lot of situational awareness of where birds are. We can drive from pack to pack instead of just blind trolling around. Shopping for the holidays or a personal upgrade. With countless purchasing options, it's easy to wonder, why should I choose Wholesale Marine? Simply put, quality, variety, and availability with a low price guarantee. Our inventory remains regularly stocked with premier products for your best boating experience. Wholesale Marine is proudly owned and operated as a family business with boating in our blood. Visit WholesaleMarine.com and start your order today. Got him, Mike? There you go. Good. Nice little mahi, mahi tacos. Nice. Got it. Jack, pitch a live bait out of me. He's right here. Okay, watch out. Oh. Where? Right off the back corner, Kalen. Here, watch out. Watch out. Move, 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 move. Hold it. Here, hold this. Move, move. Got him. All right. Get him. JC's got him. More like that. I mean, it's not an everyday deal. Got him. Got him. And, and yeah, just follow the birds. And you know what? It, uh, we found we saw him from two miles away. Tracked him. Came in, and sure enough, there they were. You know, nice flock of about eight or ten birds, and that meant nice school of mahi. You tie something up to something at the house. Well, what you do is you take any swivel, any hook, pass it through the eye. Now, when it goes through the eye, you're going to come underneath the main line, grab the tag, roll it around that main line three times. So there's one, and I'm going to come underneath it again for two, come underneath it again for three, and I'm stacking them and holding them there, and I'm just going to use my tag end and go up in the middle of that hole, and then pull it through. And it's a perfect little honeycomb knot. The harder you pull, the harder it gets. It's really nice.
Do you see it? What is it? What's that? Yeah, keep Drop it. Oh, oh no! There you go. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, grab it. Grab the rod. JC, hand it down. Two hands, two hands, two hands. There you go. There you go, nice fish. Nice fish. Innovations have helped more fishermen find and catch more fish than any other brand. And we're raising the bar again with Navnet TZ Touch 3's new PVG and Fish It Drifted technologies. Build your own three dimensional shaded relief charts to find trophy fish others have missed. Perform accurate drifts the first time, every time. Be the one everyone follows. When you're serious about fishing, lead the way and get serious with Furuno. I was here last week, we were catching yellowhead groupers, snowy groupers, and tile fish. So we'll try to catch all of those hopefully today with you guys. And um, working the rods, the essence behind this style of fishing is you're going to use five hooks like a chicken rig with a six pound lead on the bottom. When it hits the bottom, you know, the rig will be straight. Imagine it being straight with the lead and then the hooks carrying up the line. We're going to free spool it to lay all the hooks down in the sand. And there's going to be an, a, you know, a line to be slack. And as soon as you lock it up, You'll see the tip starting to bounce. Sometimes it'll bounce because the lead is dragging through the sand. Other times it'll bounce because those are the fish that are on it eating it in the sand. You just hit the throttle, which we'll show you the throttles on them, and just it'll fight it the whole way up. So it's kind of how we'll do this stuff. Rig wise, we put a breakaway on these leads because if you do hook the bottom, it's hard to break that 100 pound braid, break this really heavy leader. So we tie a 50 pound or 40 pound breakaway leader to the sinker. So if it snags, at least we get our rig back and try again. That's a huge tip right there, by the way. I've done it without that and it's very hard to get it back. Bait wise, we'll use squid, chunks of bonita. You can always use, um, I mean, ballyhoo works good. You can do plugs of ballyhoo down there. I've done that in the past. It all gets them done pretty much. The weight will be attached by a snap swivel on this rig snap that That's to the weight. Bottom. Yes, sir. Yep. And a lot of natural lighting is lost in the ocean once you get past 500 to 600 feet of depth. So we'll be using these water activated LED lights that will flash to attract a little attention to the rig down there. Boat drifts with the current. Just keep letting the line out. I will be power drifting with the motors, helping you stay somewhat straight up and down and somewhat oriented with each other and bottom fishing. Um, we are dropping in the Gulf Stream current, so it's going to be about, now we're drifting right now, one and a half, one, it's really good, two, you know, really good. Some days it's three to four, which that's tough when you're using eight pound sinkers, ten pound, if you want to fish it, you know, it's hard to hold the bottom, but you can still get the job done. Just clips on like so, boom. Let's hook it once and then twist it and hook it one more time. Right here. Yep. Just, just like that. One more time, like Perfect, that. going down, exactly. Down into the squid. And slide it up. 
kind of on there like that. Oh yeah, the opportunity is there. We're just gonna throw this giant piece of bonita on the bottom hook, hoping to catch something crazy. Folks at home, folks at home, that is the bait for the big boys, right there. Big sloppy bonita. And there's a couple ways you can drop with these electric reels. You can free spool it, but on like rough days, you can always back the drags off if it's starting to jump and push the line up. It's kind of scary when you have your thumb there. You can go ahead and let it go. Just, it? Yes, sir, just drop it. Perfect. If you'll just kind of regulate it. Use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress anchor. What do you think he has over there? We got a tail to prove. The leg of the blue line. Good. Hey, whatever you're doing back here, keep it up, cuz. I like to see that. Yeah, Just, you know, forward throttle. Yeah, they'll stop the drag, but I can just tell how the rod gets dampened. My guess is probably going to be another tile because the groupers, they just like, they just dog the reel. Nice oh. one, dude. You got the pig gaff over there? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Big old blue on top. So crazy, like when their fins are in the water, which I'll show, I'll show, I'll do it at the well in the back. They turn blue when they're in the water. See how blue his fin gets in the water? Then you go and pull them out, and it gets all clear. So they got that like green blue shoe to them, even on the top. Between me and you, it's fighting pretty good. Yeah. If it ain't a grouper, it's a hell of a foul this time. One more than one. More than one, I see. I see, <laughs> I see you guys pull your Tile fish. Nice tile fish. Let him swallow the ballyhoo if he will. We got him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We were deep dropping for snow grouper and tilefish, and as we're reeling some tilefish up, these dolphins swam up to the boat. Now we're catching a dolphin, aka mahi mahi. They're not that angry though. They're swimming around kind of lazy. But Crystal has one on here by the boat. We have them swimming around, chasing live baits. So hopefully we can get another bite. Hey, nice fish. It's a nice one. <laughs> 